the one and only Miss Stephanie Johnson. How are you doing, Stephanie? Hey, guys. I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing good. I, considering all things, I'm, I am doing good. <laughs> and uh, my apologies to you and the crew over there as well for the uh, the circus of the last seven days. Uh, oh, <laughs> I, I don't even that's know. That's all right. I know it's I it's no know. fault of yours. Sometimes things just happen. And they're out of our <sighs> control. Yeah. Oh, they happened, all right. Believe me, they happen. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, that's all so, right. Hopefully, another show in the future. Absolutely. So, so you uh you went to Nashville recently? I did. I actually um went to Nashville a few weeks ago, or was has been a month already. Um, wow. And it was most mostly just you know for pleasure to to, to listen to music and um, songwriters, which which was awesome. And I also got to meet. Um, a lady that does a lot of uh, in Nashville, so it was a great trip. It was just an amazing, amazing city filled with so many talented musicians and singers and songwriters. It's just there's no other place quite like it. <laughs> now, I, I, if I'm remembering correctly, like that was that's not your first trip to Nashville. You were actually there before, right? Yes, I was there twice before. Um, once I'd actually gone down to, you know, try to, to get a record deal and get my music heard. Um, I did a showcase at a place called 12th and Porter. Um, and then I had gone back down again just for fun. And then this would be my third time. So, yeah, I love Nashville. And, and now, I, I, I don't understand because uh, – if they've heard your album, which I, I, if they haven't, like they need to like wake up because you're putting out hits. Like, you, like we talked about this. We had you on the last time the show with the you put mm-hmm. out the single and the video for the song Word Man, and I still almost every day I pop that tune on as I'm sitting there and working as I'm going through like stuff on YouTube. I always I, I just love that song, and, and now you put yeah. out this new one, and it's just like, right, she did it again. Another hit. They just <laughs> them out over there. Wow. Well, thank you. I mean, you know, it. I think. I think we talked about this last time. It's just. It's such a you know different style of music. I mean, it, it's kind of. There's there's so much going on in there. You got some pop and you got some country and you got some rock and, you know, I think that there's just so much crossover going on and, and I love it and I wouldn't change anything about it. But I think, I think a lot of stations are just having a hard time figuring out if it fits for them because, you know, it might be a little too much or, you know, if it's a pop station, it's like, Oh, well this is a little too country or this is a little too, you know, um, you know, it's got too much going on there that's not quite right for our station. But then, you know, I kind of get the same thing for country stations. It's like, well, it's not quite country enough. So, you know, I've gotten such positive feedback from a lot of people, you know, in the industry. And actually, um, the lady that's been doing my radio promotion, she believes in, in Word Man so much. And that's the song she's been trying to push to country radio. And um, she said, you know, it's just crazy because it's so hard for a breakout artist, but then, you know, you put that song and it's cut by Miranda Lambert and it's like an instant hit, but it's just it's right. so hard to, you know, to for me being a completely unknown artist to kind of get it, you know, out there and, and in the ears of these people that could really see it being that big of a hit. So, you know, I just keep it's trying. Crazy. I just keep pushing, <laughs> just get, get my music out there as much as I possibly can. Um, and, um, I just I try not to get discouraged and I just keep doing my thing because that's you know that's true to me this this is like my style and my creation and and I love it and I'm proud of it so I don't want to change anything that I'm doing to you know try to help me get somewhere if I if I end up making it I want it to be you know authentic I want to be you know sure I am you know, it's funny too because, like, even like when I was 
working on promoting the show, and I would say to people, I mean, because my, my background is hard rock and metal and stuff like that, and I'm trying mm-hmm. to, like, tell people about the show, and they're looking at me. As soon as I would start to, like, say, you know, there's there's a bit of country in it, they, like, tilt their head at me like a lost puppy, and I'm like, no, like, you got to hear it. Like, it's not – it's country, but it's not country. I'm like, it's, like, a rock and roll country. I'm like, you, if you give it a chance – you're going to like it. Just please listen to it and trust me on it. And they just look at me like mm-hmm. I'm nuts. I'm like, no, you're going <laughs> to like it. Like, I'm telling you. And, and even like my wife, who my wife is very open to all the different music, especially um, more than me. Um, well, even when I was telling her. And then one day I just popped it on. And she was like sitting on one end of the couch and I'm sitting on the other. And I just popped it on. And she starts getting in there. She goes, who's that? And I tell her, she's like, all right, all right, you got me. All right, it's good. <laughs> I'm like, see, I told you. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Produce the album. So much of his influence, because Brian is actually like, you know, he's been in, in rock bands his whole life, so that's really more of his background. And, you know, it's right. just something we came up with when we were collaborating both of our styles of you know, putting our ideas together. So, I mean, even for him to, you know, like he, he listens to, he does so much listening to like hear like what's on the radio now and what's current. And he takes like some pieces from this and some pieces from that genre. And, you know, he kind of puts the best bits together, I guess. And I don't know. I just, I think it, I think it's cool because, no, you don't exactly know, even when you start listening to a song, what direction it's going to take from, you know, the start to the right. beginning. Especially Word Man. I mean, Word Man, you, you play and you're like, oh, my gosh, this is a country song. And then by the end of right. it, you're just like, holy crap, what just happened? <laughs> In a good way. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. <Hopefully. laughs> Now the new uh, the new song oh no you put the you released the video about two weeks ago was it yes yep the video's and doing that- pretty well I think it's over two thousand views in you know a pretty short period of time so that's good for me um, I'm trying to get it out there as much as I possibly can to reach as many people with the song but um, yeah it was it was an awesome experience and I'm just trying to push it. So uh, as many people can see. Yeah, I was going to say, like, that one has almost a, a half the amount of videos of, uh, of Wordman or, or views Wordman already. Yeah, I think that probably has to do with the fact that I got some pretty amazing musicians uh, in that video with me. So they've been, um, they've been sharing it, and they have a good following. So I'm sure that probably helps. Um, and I've also been, you know, trying to promote it as much as I can on my social media sites as well. But yeah, I mean, so nice. far so good. Yeah, and this one's actually a little more harder, uh, a harder rock edge to it, I think. Yeah, this song is definitely the hardest song I know. I mean, that's the hardest song that I have. Um, so, I mean, it, it's definitely got some, some passion behind it, but... Um, I just love it. Like it's so fun to perform live too because I feel like this alter ego in me like comes out and I'm like a very easygoing, like nice, friendly person, but man, when this song comes on I'm just like I flip a switch and I get really into it and it's just super fun to kind of, you know, dive into the to the angry girl song. <laughs> <laughs> the angry girl song. That's funny. Now do you think you would see yourself maybe going more angry girl girl song uh, style in the future? Um, It's funny because lately, as I've been writing more, I'm actually kind of going a little bit back to my roots of when I first started um, writing, which was, you know, mostly like just 100% country. So it's kind of like, I, I don't know why, but this style in my head, I kind of just have this Mumford and Sons, like, melodies and beats in my head and mm. like I wrote that song like and I was really song. really really angry <laughs> so I mean I don't I don't know <laughs> I don't want a whole album of <laughs> just being really really angry um yeah but I don't know we'll see we'll see what happens a lot of what I write is 
you know, inspired from what I feel. But I guess sure. lately I've just been feeling kind of like, I don't know, chill, just real chill. Well, I'll tell you what, if you were in my shoes this past uh, week, you had been writing a lot of Angry Girl music. Oh, my gosh. I can only <laughs> imagine. <laughs> uh, so, now, I saw you were playing um, a Music Fest next month up in uh, Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. I am. I'm so excited for that. Yeah, um, I am playing, I think it's the first Saturday. It's August 5th. Um, and I'm playing at the main stage. I'm doing two two oh, sets nice. from... Yeah, twelve um, to one, and then one thirty to two thirty, um, and it'll be mostly original songs. We'll do you know a few cover songs, but I am super super excited for that. This is my first year um, that I will be playing there, so I can't wait. You know, it's it, that's like a festival like I've seen every year, like on Channel Six News, like they show you the highlights mm-hmm. from it constantly. And you're like, oh, my God, like, all these amazing artists are there. And leading up to it, like, I never hear about it until I see it on the news. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't know how much promoting they do beforehand. But, yeah, I, I always, you know, if, if I'm home and I flip on the news, I see it, too. I always, like, see the the polka. <laughs> <laughs> the polka. Uh, <laughs> But it, it, it's an amazing thing to be part of. So, I mean, that's got to be awesome for you. I'm happy for you. Yeah, thank you. I am. I'm, I'm very honored to be uh, to be playing there. I, I've been looking forward to it. Um, so I think it's going to be great. I love that it's during the day. And, you know, we're going to be um, – we have a good, you know, time slot. So I think it's just going to be perfect as long as it, you know, doesn't rain or it's not – too ridiculously hot. <laughs> I think we'll yeah, do. yeah, very, very cool. So, and then you're playing also next next Friday night. I am. Yeah, next Friday I'm doing an acoustic show at Bell Hall in Allentown, and that's um, very close to the PPL Center for anybody that's familiar with Allentown. And it's just from eight to ten. Um, and Bell Hall is a really cool place. They have you know, an outside um, area where they have cornhole and benches and seats so you can kind of come and hang out, listen to music, play a game of cornhole, get a great burger. Their burgers are amazing. I get so excited every time I have a show at Bell Hall because I can't wait to eat. <laughs> but um, <laughs> it's, just, it's just like a super, super cool place to, uh, to hang out. And um, it's really fun. It's a lot of fun. I'm playing with um, Paul Franceschini, my guitar player. So it's a good time. Very, very cool. Cool. Well, we're gonna, let's get the plugs out there for you. Um, the album. Where can everybody buy this amazing album? Because it needs to be heard, and people need to realize like they're missing out on something. <laughs> well, thank you. Um, so the album is on iTunes. Um, it's Stephanie Johnson, if you search me. And it's Stephanie with an F, so it's S-T-E-F-A-N-I-E. Um, Or you can go to my website, and it'll have all the links for it. Um, It's also on Amazon and Spotify. So the website is www.stephaniejohnsonmusic.com. Hey, that was simple enough. I'm surprised that wasn't taken. Oh. (laughs) Well, stephaniejohnson.com was, but we added the music in there, and then we're like, oh, okay. I'll take that. Yeah. Very good. Cool. Cool. All right, well, I'm going to play the song for everybody, and uh, this way they can uh, also get a taste of what they're missing out on. This is a this is the new single, new video. Check it out. Go to YouTube. Yep. Check out this one, and check out the other one. And which uh, this one didn't have no Corvette in it this time. <laughs> nope, no no Corvette. We got some cows though. <laughs> <laughs> That's not like a fair trade off. <laughs> <laughs> It was so funny when we were filming it, um, like when we first started playing, all the cows started running as close as they could to the fence. And we're like, oh, my God, we're playing till the cows come home. It was so <laughs> cool. They just all came running. And then, like, once we were playing for a while, they left. And I was like, oh, man, did we screw up or what? <laughs> and it was just, it was, it was really cool. I don't think they're actually in the video, though. I don't remember seeing any cows, but. Keep your eye out. You might see a straggler in there. <laughs> oh, that's funny. 
All right, so uh, Stephanie, again, thank you for everything, and uh, let's play this for everybody, and let us uh, let All me right. work on another show and get you down here. All right, that sounds good. Thank you so much for having me on. Absolutely, thanks. All right, well, here she is, Stephanie Johnson with the latest 